Hi everyone, it's Bilal Ahmed. Today we are going to start from unit five. This is the second term. In the first term, we turn unit one, two, three, and four. Today, we're gonna start with unit five. This is the exercise 5.1. And in this unit, unit number five, you guys going to learn how to add numbers. Okay, means how to plus, like five plus two equal seven. And uh, you guys will learn subtraction. Okay, subtraction means minus. How can you minus five minus two, right? <laughs> So you're going to look for in unit five and the coming lessons you will learn how to multiply two numbers and how to divide and how to share between different objects, right? So let's begin with exercise 5.1. It's all about addition, okay? It's addition, it's mean we will look for plus. So let's begin. So here is the first question in page number 81. So let's start how to find seven with different numbers. So let's begin. Let's read the first question. Draw two different arrangements for seven. Okay, on the 10 frames. Here are the 10 frames, right? So how can you add two numbers together to make a seven, right? So there are different ways, but we're gonna look for the numbers. So we have number one, we have number two, three, four, five, we have six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we have numbers from zero to nine. So take any two numbers that can make seven. Okay, we need two numbers that makes seven. So let's find out. <clears throat> so one, I'm going to write here one plus. Okay, take another number that can add with one to make a seven. So I'm going to take six. Okay, one plus six equal seven. So in this way, you can add different numbers. Now let's take the biggest number, okay? So, but we are going to look for add, right? So I'm going to take three and plus choose another number that can make seven. I'm going to use four. So three plus four equals seven. Okay, so here you have to make more uh, numbers okay choose any two numbers on from zero to nine and uh, make a seven right i hope you guys understand let's go back let's move to the next slide Okay, so in question number two, page 82. On page 82, we have question number two, find the totals. The total means add, add two numbers together, right? So here we have 41 and here we have six. 41 and six, how many are together? So there are different ways you guys can use the number line right? You guys can add with 
on your fingers, right? And you guys can make parts, okay? So let's take the 41. Okay, so I'm going to write here 40, right? And how many ones we have? We have only ones plus six. You can make parts. Okay, so 40 plus one, 41, and 41 plus six. Okay, add them together. It will be, so you can add first together like this one. 40 plus six, it's 46, and 46 plus one equal 47. So in this way, you can add different numbers, right? The next number is 35 plus four. So you guys can make parts, right? So how many ones we have? Four ones. Okay, in 35, how many ones we got? We got five ones, right? Plus, how many tens we have? We have three tens. As you remember, in tens, we have a zero. Okay, let's add together the ones. Okay, five plus four equal nine, right? Okay, 30 plus 9 equal, 30 plus 9 equal 39. So in this way, you can add different numbers together. Let's choose another example. Okay, so here, how many ones? We have seven ones plus how many ones we have in 62? We have two ones, right? Plus, and how many tens we got? We have six tens because tens have a zero. So I'm going to add a zero. Let's add together the ones. Two plus seven. How many two plus seven? It's nine. Okay, 60 plus nine. It's 69. So in this way, you can add the numbers. Okay, so in this way, you can add more numbers together. First add ones, then add tens together. Now, find the totals in question number three. So the same method, but we are going to add the rule, <clears throat> row additions, okay, or column additions. So how many ones we got? Four ones. And how many ones? Five ones. Four ones and five ones. Okay, four plus five. How many all together? It's nine. And how many tens we got? We got six tens. We got six tens. It mean we have 69. I'm going to take this example. How many ones we got? Six and two. We got six, six ones and two ones. Six ones and two ones, how many all together? Eight. How many tens we got? Four, but this is 10 is missing. I'm going to add four. So 48 is the answer, right? 46 plus two equal 48. So in this way, you can add different numbers. All right, so now it's time to add together. It's gonna be easy, right? So, how many ones we got in tens? Zero. How many ones we got in 57? Seven. So seven plus zero 
equal seven. Seven plus zero equals seven. How many tens we got in 10? We got one ten and we got five ten. So five and one. Five and one equal six. Okay, let's use this example. How many ones we got in 30? Zero. How many ones we got in 26? Six. Six plus zero. It's six. How many tens? Let's count the tens together. Two plus three equals five. It's 56, right? So in this way, you can add, find the totals. Now let's choose this one. First, we have seven ones and zero ones. Seven plus zero, it's seven. Three plus one, three plus one equals four. Let's choose this example. Six plus zero, it's six. Five plus three, it's eight. It's 86, right? So try, add different numbers together, right? Thank you so much guys for watching. Have a good day, take care.